Good evening, folks. My special guest this evening is a young man who I have known for a number of years. My hair is grey and I don't have any. His hair is as dark as you can get and he still look young. Can you believe this? The young Mr. Daniel Dijon, sir. How are you? Thank you for having me, Uncle Jazzy. I'm grateful to be on your show. Well, it's good to have you, man. It's been a while. It's been a while I haven't I'm seen grateful. you. I'm grateful, man. I'm no, but what have you been up to anyway since this uh, lockdown kicked in? What have you been up to? I've, I always have been teaching anyway when I'm not touring or playing gigs and shows. Mm. So I've always been teaching in schools and teaching kids from primary school to secondary school ages um, how to do music, really, how to play drums. I teach a bit of trumpet. I teach a bit of bass as well. No, oh, a bit of bass as well. Oh, you can teach me yeah. a few things. Uh, oh. that's, that's what <laughs> I, I like to see. That's what I, I like to see. I try to play those instruments anyway. Oh, cool. but, now, it's, yeah, if so... you don't know, Daniel is a, what what, what do I call this now? A serious, well-accomplished drummer. I'm a learning one. That's the word I would use. He would use those words. I would use these words. I'm learning. Because when Still I met to you... I'm not, I'm not there yet. Not yet? You, 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 well... You're good, whatever it is, whatever level you're on, it's good. It's a good level. Because when I met you many moons ago, you yeah. must have been, yeah. what? I think you just left school or something like that. Yeah. And we, where were we? We were at a jam session somewhere. I think Dalston. it was Dalston. Was it Dalston? Or Troy Bar. No, I met you at Troy Bar first. I think it, it was, was Troy Bar was, first, and then you branched was, out with the, the guys. Fusion, it was the Fusion Jam on a Wednesday night. That's right. With yeah. Mike, 
with, with Mike, man. Yeah. I love that guy, Mike Horn, man. Yeah, yeah. My oh, favorite, yeah. Oh, one yeah. of my favourite players, man. Well, he's going to be on the show next as well, so yeah, it's going to be a good one. Uncle it, Mike, man, I love you, man. It was great catching up with these guys, and it was you, uh, James... Messiah. Messiah on uh, flute. Flute. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Liam Joseph's on bass. Liam Joseph, my boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Raphael Bushman. And Raph was my boy on as well, keys. man. All of those, them guys are killers, man. And now that I'm looking at it all these years later, each and every <laughs> one of them is what I would call a highly rated player in their own field, which nah, is nice. It's, it's great I'm, to see I'm... that. It's great to see that. Now, you've been playing for a number of years. Who have yeah. you played for? Because I know you've been busy. Because so, when I met you, it was on the jam scene I'm then. Trying to do bus to be busy. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um. So what have I been doing? I've been playing for Mira May, who's like a pop R and B artist who's killing. So like, check her out. She's like ridiculously good. Um. Soul to soul. So big up Uncle Julian and Uncle Chris, man. Mm. Those are the guys that, like, I dep on that gig and I, I was fortunate to play percussion when I wasn't playing drums. Oh, okay. So I, I, I dep on that gig. I've been depping on that gig for, for, like, what, the best part of five to six years, maybe. I've been depping on that gig for Uncle Julian Brown, man. So I'm thankful to him for letting me sit in the chair when he goes out with Massive Attack. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've yeah. been doing that. Um... What else have I done? I've done Cleo Soul. That was like my first kind of pop gig, really, was Cleo Soul. Mm. And then um, I sat in for Dexter years ago when he did Eliza Doolittle. Oh. So I sat in for him. He's my boy as well. He's my Dexter big bro. Dexter's like, another top, top I, end. I grew up with class, him, man. Top class. Yeah, yeah. Like, I play drums because of him. <laughs> oh. He'll tell you no, but that's, that's the reason, man. He's one of the reasons for it all. Mm. Now, every time um, I go anywhere and I see you guys, it's always good to have a sit down and catch up and whatnot because it's been a while since we've actually got together. This is it, man. But since this lockdown has kicked in, it has put everybody out. It's you know what? It's 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 the good thing about lockdown, right? Mm. And I'll tell you this from my point of view is that people are starting to now do more. If you get what I mean. Yep. Although they're not gigging, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? They've had to become creative. So like for me, my room now, I didn't have all of this before. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the facility to even have electric in my in my studio. Mm. That was all I had was just a shed in the back of my garden. I played drums there. Mm. Now I've like I've made tracks for people. I've sat on sessions for people remotely. So that's the good that's come out of lockdown is that people have had to like force the creativity to that next level. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So and when I they do get back out there, almost made, they're ready. Yeah. Hmm. I guess it's probably almost made people come together a bit more as well. True. Because I'll be honest, there's a bunch of guys I wasn't like talking to before hmm. until now, like now you'd think some of us are like the best of friends because like, what you're we're doing. all talking but mm. like it's brought people together so this is the positive out of the lockdown yeah we can't obviously do our tours mm -hmm. do our gigs like but the ultimate thing that i can take away from it is that people have come together so i give thanks for that that's true you know what i mean that's I true give, that's true i give thanks that i built my studio when i did mm -hmm. yeah i remember that sort of pictures yeah mm. yeah like easter to summer like me and my dad were just out here every day Mm, putting it Crafting together. Away. I, yeah. I'm thankful for my dad, man. Because seriously, <laughs> that generation, yeah, they can do anything, man. Your generation, <laughs> anything. We're not built like that anymore. Like we're not. Unfortunately, we're not, like not. But there's still a few of us who still got it, and yeah. we're trying to pass it on. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah, but, but what, what I'm saying, my generation, we're not built to do those them them level of skill work not yet not yet but you know but if you put your mind to it just like you with your drums you put your mind to it you're doing it yeah so whatever yeah, yeah, you put yeah, your yeah. hand to if you got your head for it you 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 crack on and do it yeah. anyway no, but no it's it's great seeing people what's the word emerge into their talents yeah as i've watched you over the years starting from point a to where you are now and i'm thinking man 
I told you years ago, you, you don't worry about that. Don't worry about what people say. Just do what you're doing. Do you. Yeah. And yeah, now yeah, look yeah, at yeah, you. Yeah. Busy yeah. doing you. Yeah, all right, fine. The gig scene That's is you. not what it used to be. But not nah. a problem. When it comes back, at least people will know who to look at and what to expect yeah. from you. Because you're you're proving yeah. well, you've gone way beyond proving who you are. You don't need to. You just do do, do your thing. I'm thankful, man. Yeah, that's that's what I'm we thankful. all have to be, so that's what we all have to be. I'm now, the next one is the jam scene. When oh years ago, that's when you know, when we could go out usually every yeah. weekend or midweek. <laughs> Yeah. Or in some cases, every night of the week to do yeah. what we enjoy doing, what we love doing. The thing that I miss about that now is I don't get to see you guys as often as I would like. This is it. That's the only this thing. This is it, man. Like, that whole jam thing, I met so many, like, like I met most of my friends. Like, I even created a group on WhatsApp. Hmm. And the group's been running for, like, five six seven years maybe and it's called the i call it the my faves the champions and it's been <laughs> like i just have people there's people in there i don't even know but we just talk music hmm. do you know what i mean the universal just language music. and yeah. it's like i meet like david rapport he's like one of my best friends like sheldon agu hmm. like these guys are like my best friends man i met those guys at troy bar do you yeah, know what i mean yeah. like will francis is another one yep Top man. Do you know what I mean? Man. Yeah. And these yeah. these are the great things that have come out of me going to a jam session. Mm. Like I knew Will from before, like how I knew Dexter. I knew, in fact, I knew Will Francis through Dexter. Really? That's how I know Will Francis. Yeah. Well, this and is then a we've small just world. Been this is a small world. But that's what the that's the great things about like music, man. It brings people together. That's well, that's that's. If it doesn't, then there's something seriously wrong with it. But then that's the this only medium that can do that. Yeah. It doesn't matter what language you speak, whether you speak English or no. not. I've got a friend called Moto. He's a drummer from Japan. Yeah. When yeah, he yeah. first... Oh, I know, I know him. You met yeah, oh, yeah, him. Yeah, you remember him. Yeah, yeah you met him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I talk to him all the time, man. Right. When he first came, he couldn't yeah. speak any English. It was him and his friends on yeah, bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they started... Yeah. When, he put, when he put them on a the stage, they was at Troy Bar as well. They played there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where I met him. That's I remember that. Yeah, that's the first time he came. He, he couldn't speak yeah. any English, but boy, put him on the yeah. drums. That was it. He could play, man. Yeah, the second straight. time he came back was about a year later, and yeah. he came off the plane straight to Arch One to my jam session. Yeah, and played from half past eight until quarter to three in the morning. <laughs> Bearing in mind, my man has just done a twenty-four hour flight. Right. Yeah. He, Mash up oh listen but he did he did what he could do but you know what that's, that's him that is him and we we talk all the time anyway but it's great to meet yeah, yeah, people yeah. like that and he's on the other side of the world this is it this is it this is it yeah that's what it does man that's what it does right yeah. that's enough for the reminiscing because i could go on for ages doing this Forever, but we're gonna have to get into your music sir my music <sighs> yeah now earlier i asked you for five songs whether they be albums, whatever genre, give you doesn't five matter. Songs, man. I can give you albums and even that. Even that, even well, that, will, that will have to do. That will have to do. That will have to yeah. do. So, I'm a big Yellow Jackets fan. Like, yes. Like, to the core. Like, He's got taste. You got taste. Yeah, you got taste. Yeah. It's in my DNA. It's, it's my dad's fault. <laughs> so, album wise, I love them all. Like, Noctune, mm. I'd say. Um, a rise in the road and timeline that's by yellow jackets i've probably gone over what you probably told me to do so no can... no no listen this is why we do it <laughs> this way yeah if we, remember then... if you if you had come here like in the old days when i had the interviews would come here yeah dinner would have been cooked <laughs> food would have been eaten you know how it goes yeah that's yeah, the yeah, only yeah, way to yeah, do it yeah. properly. So yeah, that yeah, would not yeah, have been yeah, an yeah. issue at all. We would have been probably for a whole weekend doing this. But then that would have been <laughs> a show in itself and nobody would have minded. So there you go. Yeah. So that's um, that's number one. What's what's number two? What would be number two? Two? Uh, all right, foreplay. 
So Ooh. the best of four play. Mm-hmm. So that's with like Harvey Mason on drums. Yep. Nathan East Bob on drums. James. On, on, on bass. Nathan yeah. East. Yeah. yeah, Lee Retner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, all right, modern stuff. What did I grow up on? So like secondary school, Christian Scott rewind that album. Oh. That's like, yeah. Christian Scott rewind that album like Thomas Pridgen on drums man it's just it's, it's, it's unforgivable <laughs> what he did on that it's unforgivable and then um, there's this French band right they're fusion they're called Sixem oh like not really many people know but like my dad put me onto them when I was about like eight or nine years of age mm-hmm so that's another like check them out. Not everyone knows about them. Do I don't understand it? why. So six, so S I X and then U N. Check out a track called Ali Gogo. I think it's called. Yeah, Ali Gogo. Yeah, bad, 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 bad. It's very nasty. Hmm. You know and me. Then, I like anything different. So I'm I'm always for that. Yeah, they're very different. Hmm. And then you got uh, Michelle and Degacello. Oh. Oh, yes. So like the Peace Beyond Passion album. That's yep. again my dad's fault. Like mm. four years old, just put me on that boy, just thumping that in my head. <laughs> bad. Bad, bad, bad. Um and then coming out of like the jazz and fusion world to break it up a bit. Uh Animals as leaders. So that's kinda like a proggy rock. Oh, okay. They're just killer, man. Check them out. Uh, the album, jo- The Joy of Motion, I'd say, yeah, is my favourite album by them. Mm. And yeah. then, one more, sorry. Yeah. i got no. one more, man. I have to put this guy in there. Jeff Lorber Fusion. Okay. <laughs> Signed, sealed and delivered, sir. I have, to, yeah. I have to put that in. Oh, no, no, I've got one more, you know. I've got one more. Go on, then. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Like Dennis Chambers, Ote. Like that's the reason why I play drums. Just listen to that track, Dennis Chambers, Ote. That's the reason why I play drums. <laughs> Man, that is a list. That is a list. I got one more, you know. I, I know got you one have. more. Just out. You probably got ten more, but go ahead, carry on, carry on, carry on. Just one more. Greg mm-hmm. Howe extraction. That's that. that Who's that one for me? Greg Howe. Oh, okay. Extraction. That whole album. Nah, I'm done. I'm done. I'll, I'll stop there. <laughs> I'll stop there. That's serious, man. That's serious. I've got too many. I've got too many things I listen to, man. Hmm. Now, that's the beauty of music. Now that we've got that, who would you want to say hello to? If you, you know, normally we go out and we meet everybody. Usually, when we go out, it's I will see you next week, each time, right. or the week after. But either way, a month wouldn't go by. And you wouldn't see anybody because we either at a jam, I'd come down, I'd meet you and the rest of the guys, hang out, have something to eat, have a drink or whatever, play music. Yeah. Yeah. But for the past over a year now, we haven't seen anybody. Nah. That's just weird. Very. But at least we can do this. Yeah. So we're putting, you know, putting you back in touch with the people that we normally would meet. Because all those yeah. guys listen to the show anyway. So when they hear, yeah, yeah, like, hang yeah. on, who's on the show? Oh, yeah, I'm going to listen to that. Yeah. Talk, you know, just two old friends, well, one young, one old, having a chat. Yeah. This is the way to be, the best way to be. Yeah. But where can we find you on your social media? And I know you teach, so you're busy. Yeah. That. How's that going? That's cool, man. Like, I've been teaching via Zoom via Microsoft Teams because obviously I teach full time in schools so it's been alright like I'm grateful just to give my bit to the kids mm. that I know and just to, to help them do what they want to do with music rather than what sometimes teachers can kind of put across like do it this way do it this way play like this play like that mm. like I kind of try and encourage kids to, to, to play the music they want to play do you know what I mean? As that opposed helps. to what yeah, I like. Because yeah. then it's not... It doesn't become fun then. Yeah, Do you know what it I mean? doesn't become a chore. Yeah. yeah. So I like... Yeah, like... When I teach, I like to find out what the kids are into. Mm. To get a background. So like, if I know... 
All right, that kid, for instance, likes rock music. More yeah, push the rock in them. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? To keep them at it. Hmm. Otherwise, when you start pushing other things into them, they just switch too up. Too soon. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not. They're not gonna like it. Because I've had I've I've had kids right that necessarily leave playing guitar because mm-hmm. they say they don't like it. But I'm like, what what didn't you like though? Guitar's a really good instrument. Like, ah, mm-hmm. oh, I was just learning this and I was just learning that and I didn't enjoy it. And that's to me the key thing is because they were learning something they didn't like, mm. and it pushes them away. Whereas yeah. if they learn an easy melody in like rock, for instance, mm. that could have pushed them into staying on that instrument. So mm. yeah. makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, but no, other than that, teaching's cool though. Ah, oh, good, good. Teaching, teaching is good. All right now, where can we find you? So I have a YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. So Daniel D Drums. You can find my videos on there. Um, I have Instagram, Facebook, um, Daniel Deej John is my mm-hmm. Insta and Facebook name. Oh, okay. So you can find me on those platforms. Now, before you run off, I know you've got teaching to do. Who you want to say right. hello to? Um, who do I want to say hello to? Everybody we so, haven't seen for the past year. That we could. <laughs> everybody I haven't seen. Um, trying to think. Too many people. Mm. I'll shout out my, my my group that I'm in called My Faves, the Champions. I'll shout those guys out. Mm. Um, Laurie Lowe. Oh. He's a killer drummer. Yeah. I met Laurie when I was a kid and like, just what he did was just like, just glued me to just trying to be like him. Seriously. So, <laughs> shout out to Laurie Lowe. Um... I'm gonna shout out Uncle Mike Corn. Mm-hmm. Um, can't think. There's too many people. Just say everybody because just shout out everyone. We man. know we know a lot of people. So I try not to shout out people I talk to all the time. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just like I talk to you all the time. Why am I shouting you out? Ah, oh, don't let them feel what? left out. Oh, it's not good. Not good. <laughs> They'll no, get there. Just people get there. love to everyone, man. Um. In the music game, I hope everyone's just getting along okay and surviving. And just Always mental away. health is all right. Do you know what I mean? That's mm. the key thing at the end of the day is the mental health. So, yeah. That's I hope it. everyone's doing well. Help everyone's safe as well. Nice one. Yeah. Well, Daniel, sir, thank you very much for your time today. I know thank you're you a busy man. Me. Nah, thank you for... Allow me to be on your great show, honestly, man. Listen, I'm I've always... I told you how many years ago we had to do this. But you were always <laughs> yeah. in some other part of the world doing whatever you're doing. And I thought, you know what? He's busy. They're gonna, he's, got, he's got to earn his money. He's, he's doing what he's doing and he's enjoying trying, it. Trying. But now we get the chance to do this this way. This is good enough. This will do. No, thank you. Until we meet, whenever that is. But we, you know, we've always soon. got phones and whatnot, so we ain't too far away. Nah, not at all. But say hi to the folks for me. And Daniel, look after yourself, yeah? Thank you, Uncle Jazzy. Take care, yeah? No problem. Speak to you soon.